Today, I'll be presenting about the experimental design of my FYP1 titled Role Model and Environmental Volunteering Program on Environmental Awareness, a case study with Bornean Sunbag Conservation Center. This research is a survey-based study where it involves quantitative method and also qualitative method. Quantitative method is used because it is data collection and also provide accurate generalization of the findings and questionnaire will be used. For qualitative method, it can track and provide thorough descriptions of unique and complex phenomena, focus on respondents' personal experience or interpretation of events depending on their roles, provide a platform for rarely heard viewpoints, and it is also helpful in conducting preliminary studies to establish ideas and hypotheses which progress towards explanation. And in this case, interview will be done. Figure 1 shows the flowchart of research design. First, literature review will be done, which lead us to our objective 1 and 2. And objective 1 involves the development of interview questions and also questionnaire, while objective 2 involves the development of questionnaire. After the interview questions and questionnaire are developed, pilot study will be done, followed by data collection, data analysis, and lastly, report writing. The data collection involves questionnaires and also interview. Questionnaire will consist of multiple choice questions, five point Likert skill questions, and also open ended questions. Likert skill is used because it can rank a population sample based on their attitudes towards subject mentioned in the questions, and open ended question is useful in uncovering prospective themes from the initial team. The questionnaire will be distributed in person to the staff and volunteers in the center, while past volunteers will be receiving the questionnaire in the form of email. For interview, a semi-structured interview will be done with Dr. Wong Siu Te because it involves a preparation of a list of fixed questions beforehand but at the same time allows the interviewer the flexibility to ask additional questions based on the answer or responses of the interviewee. Interview questions will be provided to Dr. Wong beforehand as a preparation for the interview and a phone video recorder will be used to record the interview session and the interview will stop when all the information required are gathered. To ensure the validity and reliability, a pilot study will be done. For the questionnaire, it will first be evaluated by the supervisor of this research, Dr. Woon, and then be distributed to individuals with basic knowledge and understanding about environmental protection and conservation. A mock interview with a wildlife researcher and conservationist who has similar background and qualification as Dr. Wong will be done. In this case, the potential mock interviewee will be Ms. Yap Jolin, who is a zoology PhD candidate at University Science Malaysia and also the head of Langer Project Penang, a community science project focusing on dusky Langer research, conservation and environmental education. The sampling strategy used here is non-probability sampling, which involves quota sampling and also purposive sampling. Quota sampling is used in the questionnaire because it allows easy approach to sample population and ensures the participation of the right demographic for a study by providing several criteria of concern as a direction in sample selection. For BSBCC staff, they must be working for at least one year in BSBCC and is actively involved in taking care of the rescued sun bear and also environmental education. For BSBCC's volunteer, their criteria involves committing at least two weeks of volunteering at BSBCC. Respondents will be selected among BSBCC staff and volunteers until the quota is reached. For purposes sampling, the criteria to be chosen as an interviewee involves at least 10 years of research experience in Sunbest, internationally recognized for his or her contribution in wildlife conservation, and also holding one of the top positions in BSBCC. The potential interviewee here is Dr. Wong Siu Te because he is the CEO of BSBCC, a well-known biologist pioneering in sun bear research and conservation, and he also received an honorary doctorate in acknowledgement of his outstanding contributions to wildlife conservation and environmental education. Next is data analysis. For the quantitative data collected from the questionnaire, descriptive statistics will be used where mode will be used to determine the most common answer or response for a question, median will represent the average response, and range will measure the variability of the responses. Frequency tables and chart will be used to visualize the data for better understanding, and Microsoft Excel will be used to generate them. For the qualitative data collected from the interview, live coding will be used. Coding is a crucial step in text and visual data analysis, which is frequently used alongside interviews to establish themes that aid in providing meaning to the data. 
and live coding provide a more in-depth analysis and additional useful information that will help to make more sense of what the interviewee has said. So this is the reference used and thank you very much.